So Elgato has been promoting Wavelength 2.0, the update to their audio software. But one of the things that they mention is called voice focus. And it's this new effect that we haven't really seen before that uses AI to focus on your voice. So it should be different from the typical noise removers or noise gates. It will remove noise, but also reverb. And I thought, I might be the perfect candidate for that. Wanna know why? Well, because that's how I actually sound without any filter. As you can see, my room is mostly empty. It's kind of big, so I get a lot of reverb. And for my previous videos, I've been not only using filters in OBS Studio to record, but also in my editing software, I've been using something called a de-reverber <laughs> to get rid of the reverb as much as I can. So I went to their website, downloaded Wavelength 2.0, installed it, and here it is. My setup didn't change. I have the Elgato Wave XLR, as you can See on screen? And if I click on the effects here, there are two new things. There's the record, because you can actually record yourself and listen to the playback to make sure that your mic sounds the way you want it to sound. And then here, there's what we're interested in, which is voice focus. Now, I haven't tried this yet. I'm gonna turn it on. I obviously can't hear it right now. And um, we're probably immediately gonna see the difference in the visualizer right here. So let me turn that on. And we can already see that there's no noise. That's for sure. It takes care of the noise. That's for sure. Now, does it take care of the reverb? There's one way for me to find out is by recording my voice and testing it. Testing one, two, three. This is Gal Level with voice focus. Testing one, two, three. This is Gal Level with voice focus. I'm speaking further away. So basically, when I'm speaking further away, you're supposed to hear more reverb. I don't know how, to, how it handles that. So let me play it back. Testing one, two, three. This is Gal Level. Testing one, two, three. This is Gal Level with voice focus. I'm speaking further away. So now I'm gonna turn it off and uh, test it without it. Testing one, two, three. This is Gal Level speaking in a Wave XLR. This is Gal Level speaking further away and a little bit louder. So we can really re hear that reverb. Wow. Testing one, two, three. This is Gal Level speaking in a Wave XLR. Let's turn it back on. Testing, testing one, two, three. I can exaggerate it by probably bumping up my gain a lot so you can really hear every background noise and stuff. All right, so now I have to speak a little further away from the mic because I have the gain almost all the way up so you can really hear everything that's going on. And you can really hear the reverb when I speak, right? It lingers. I speak and then there's a little bit of lingering. So if I turn this off, you can... Oh my God. Yeah, that... <laughs> this is impressive. This is impressive. Now, since it's AI powered, I feel like there's maybe little things that it's not going to pick up if I'm ha 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 ha. Nah, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. Definitely takes care of everything. The reverb, both the reverb, like you shouldn't be able to hear me this clearly from this distance, right? To give you an, an idea of what it sounds like without it. And at this distance, this is what it sounds like. Really, like I'm in a room, I'm in a warehouse. I'm just in a normal room. But still, from this distance, it is so cool. But it also means that for people who don't like to have their mic show on screen, now it's an option. It's a viable option and you don't sound bad at all. Plus I feel like tiny little noises, maybe like mouth noises and things like that don't really get picked up. So uh, yeah, I would use this. One thing I would say though, is that there's a slight, 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 slight delay. Very small, I would probably have to calculate it, but there is one. But honestly, it's barely noticeable. I'm hearing myself right now and it's not speech jamming me or, or at least not too much. Once again, let me turn it off. This is what it sounds like without it off. Gain is over-exaggerated here to prove a point. And then this is what it sounds like with it on. And this is without messing with the controls. I think this is fine. If I put it at weak, even as low as here, it's doing a pretty great job. We hear a little bit of noise maybe, but uh, around there, indistinguishable. Oh God. And then uh, we're gonna turn voice focus on. So now, oh, not bad, not bad. Definitely ruins the quality of, of the voice. Vacuum cleaner in the back, not bad. Pair it with Elgato noise removal and you have clean audio somehow. Turn that off and then turn that off. Not bad, not bad. Really, really not bad.
There it is. Of course, the biggest downside of this whole thing is you need Elgato Wavelink and you need a Wavelink compatible product to make it work. As you can see, it's very easy to add any microphone to the Wavelink software. Granted, you already have that one Elgato device that's compatible. But if I go to effects here, I can add any effect that I want, but you will not see the voice focus. So right now, I feel like the voice focus is only compatible with Elgato microphones. Because if I go there, then it's right there, right? I can record, I can do all that stuff. But my custom microphone or my other USB microphone here, I just have here, at least in audio effects. If I go, for example, to get more audio effects, it will bring you here to their audio effects page on their marketplace, which doesn't incorporate voice focus. But of course, those effects will work with your other USB microphone. And also a quick reminder that any other VST that you have on your computer will also work. Marvel GEQ is something that I downloaded for free on the internet. TDR Nova also. Speechy is a plugin that I paid for. So you're not only stuck with Elgato plugins. Alrighty then, follow me on Twitch.